What's up guys, welcome to another Destiny gameplay video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the exotic auto rifle called Hard Light. This is the 2.0 version. You'll see I don't quite have this one maxed, I just got my 2.0 this week. But I have played with it extensively, I have a maxed out uh, 1.0 version of the gun. So you can trust that I've, I've used it quite a bit. So here are the stats on the gun, you can pause on each of those and read them. Basically you got glass half full, so the bottom half of the mag is going to do additional damage. You've got volatile light, which comes in handy because of the over penetration. Uh, you're going to be using that a lot, especially in PvE. So here's the weapon in action. There's not a lot of exotics that I get legitimately giddy about, but this is one that I do. I absolutely love this weapon. This particular game here on Shores of Time, I ended up with 53 kills on this game, and I have dozens of games with over 40 kills with this weapon. It's just a great crucible gun, mainly because crucible is geared more towards close quarters combat, not a lot of maps with long sight lines. Also give a listen to this weapon, it sounds absolutely beast. Zone A lost. Enemy captured, zone A. So it looks good, it sounds good. The the weapon itself has a lot of character, partially because of the aesthetics, partially because of the uh, the sound effects of it. Also because it's really, it feels like the only actual submachine gun in the game. I love submachine guns, I actually wish that they were a, uh, a weapon class in the game already, but unfortunately they're not. But this one kind of feels like an SMG. And uh, that's part of the reason I really like it, because I tend to gravitate towards uh, high rate of fire, uh, close quarters, weapons. So luckily with the 2.0 version of the gun, the stability isn't as much of an issue. It still does have quite a bit of recoil, but it's predictable and it's controllable. It'll only take you one or two games to get used to the recoil pattern on the gun. The reload speed is also pretty quick, which is nice because you're going to be going through those 40 rounds pretty quickly. And you'll see every now and then, you'll see these uh, hard light projectiles coming back at me because of the, uh, the ricochet effect. Now one of the things that I actually don't like is that the ricochet doesn't really make a lot of sense. It doesn't seem to uh, to bounce. The projectiles don't bounce at sort of a logical uh, geometrical pattern. They kind of just come straight back at you, even if you're shooting at an angled surface. So I've tried playing around a bit with hitting people who are behind cover or around corners by ricocheting off surfaces uh, in, a, in a way that makes sense, like it would bounce in their general direction. But it doesn't. Usually the projectiles just come straight back at you, which is kind of weird. So ultimately the, the ricochet effect doesn't really come into play much, if at all. The only uh, part of the uh, volatile light uh, perk that, that does come into effect is the over penetration. So you can hit multiple targets if they're lined up, which does uh, definitely help a lot in PvE uh, when you're chewing through mobs. By the way, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm hard to understand or if I seem to take breaths at weird points. I'm fighting this thing called bronchitis right now. And that's kind of being a jerk. So you see, in PvP, this weapon is great. And that's usually the second question I try to answer is how's the weapon stack up in PvP? And uh, I've had a, a lot of really positive games with it in PvP. You see that 53 kill game, 35, 34... Uh, these are just the scoreboards from those games that you just saw footage from. Um, and then also, one of them, I didn't even get to the end of the match to see the scoreboard because uh, my kids started crying like three quarters of the way through the game and I was already at 42 kills. Uh, and I had to bow out of the match, take care of my son. But uh, I went online afterwards and looked at the, the breakdown. I ended up with 42 kills in just three quarters of a match. So. Uh, I was kind of bummed I didn't get to see that one through because that would have been a solid, solid scoreboard at the end if I managed to play the, the last 
So the, uh, the, the final question I like to answer when reviewing these weapons is how does the weapon stack up in PvE? And um, the gun is probably just as good in PvE as it is in PvP. The overpenetration makes it so that crowd control uh, is, is, is pretty easy to do with this weapon. Now, one of the things I like about having a primary exotic is uh, the fact that you're going to be getting most of your kills with it. Like, I love my Galahorn, I love my Icebreaker, uh, you know, weapons like this, but you're not going to be using them uh, for 90% of your kills. As You're going to be using them for the big guys in between or the boss at the end. So they're more situational weapons. This one is just well-rounded. You can use it pretty much anywhere and get most of your kills with it. I found I liked pairing it with... Uh, this is Light of the Abyss. It's the, the new raid fusion rifle. I liked pairing it with this because I could use Light of the Abyss to pop uh, Captain Shields and finish them off with hard light. Now right here you'll see the over penetration. See these guys line up and it'll just cut through the mobs. So that over penetration is so nice to have. You can see it just cuts through these guys. You get the, the stacking multiple crits uh, with one bullet you know through multiple domes. So nice to have. Now this uh, particular strike was kind of bogus. RNG, J, R, uh, excuse me, RNG was kind of a tool. You can see I got more kills than both the other guys combined, and one guy gets a uh, 2.0 Monte Carlo. So I was kind of raging about that. But I guess ultimately I can't complain about my luck. I do have every exotic in the game except for um, Dragon's Breath. So um, I have been pretty lucky with drops all in all. Part of it is that I have, you know, three characters at 31 right now. My Titan's almost to 32. So uh, I can, you know, run raids three times a week and all that business, nightfalls, etc. And on top of that, the Vanguard Rock uh, Strike playlist is a gold mine. It's been so good to me. Uh, multiple legendary engrams. So that's been really good to me. I've had a lot of fun. Kind of right now, I'm I, I'm kind of swimming in in new weapons. So I'm trying to pick which ones I want to level up. So first world problems, right? So yeah, ultimately the um, the hard light is a fantastic weapon. I get legitimately giddy about this gun. Uh, I actually got kind of, I don't know why the guy was so angry, but I got chewed out on the forums yesterday because uh, I said that Hard Light is in my top five exotics, and he was calling me an idiot and a noob and all this business. So I'm not sure why people have distaste for it or they don't find it effective. I love the gun and I find it highly effective. So guys, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. Let me know uh, your thoughts on the weapon. Feel free to uh, like and subscribe as well and give me some uh, feedback so I know how to make these videos better in the future. Thanks guys for stopping by.